Now at six, we are hearing from friends of a woman who was killed last night after police say she was kidnapped at gunpoint from a nail salon. The suspect was also found dead. This is after the kidnapping led to a hostage and barricade situation. Fox 5's Joe V. Hill talked with a friend of the mm. victim and joins us now with what they had to say. Yeah, that's right. The friend tells me the female victim had been trying to get away from the suspect for a while, but things ended with her death. This is a horrific incident. Well, stunning details from police when they say they responded to a woman kidnapped at gunpoint from a nail salon near Eastern and St. Rose Parkway on Thursday night. Police say she was then taken to a house near Fort Apache and Sunset, which led to a hostage situation and SWAT being called in. When it was all over, police say the suspect was dead from a self-inflicted gunshot wound and the female hostage was dead. It was a high-spirited woman, you know, she was a mother. She had she had uh, four kids and she would have them train here at the gym, you know, teaching them self-defense and probably because of the situation she was in, you know. Nick Blumgren owns the gym and has known the victim for several years. Police say the suspect is the woman's ex-boyfriend and is the father of her three-year-old child. A Blumgren says the suspect was stalking the woman and just two days ago talked to her and was told the suspect wouldn't leave her alone and wanted her back. Just so obsessed with her, you know, he didn't want anyone else to have her except him. Blumgren says he urged her to carry a gun, but she was a little afraid of guns. He says she tried and tried to get someone to do something about the suspect. She would just express to me all the time, you know, she went to the police and nobody would do anything. She went to lawyers and nobody would do anything to the guy. They went to court. Nobody would do anything to the guy. I mean, the system failed her. Blumgren says she loved being a mother, and now four kids ages 17 to three years old are left without their mom. Police say two other women and a child were also in the home. They were not hurt. I did reach out to police about Blumgren, saying that his friend tried contacting them about the suspect. Police would only say this is still an ongoing investigation. Back to you.